Nicely. Salad, a hotel. Hotel? Hotel for family? Yeah, it's a tight and grill. Come on, come on. No, 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 stop that. Now look here, I'm an Englishman, and I've come here, and I want a hotel. A hotel. We. Why should they tear me out of here? Oh, if Deasy want this hotel for his headquarters, <laughs> what can we do? Blastedly. If it hadn't been for his infernal revolution, I'd have been clear of all this by now. If all visitors will go now, please. Deakling already, he is expected. But we can't go out in this. This room, Deakling, he brought in for his office. The outlook is good. Ah, he come. Immediately also, please now remove yourselves. Deakling, he come. This is the devil. I can't get this money exchanged. I can't get out of the town. Oh, you are safe. No one can come from England, even if they knew you were here. Good morning. You look like the manager, are you? Yes, but you can't come here now. It is impossible. You have a young Englishman staying here. Uh, yes, sir, but... He came over yesterday to join a lady. A countess or something. A countess? Oh, no, 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 no. She is just what you call courtesan. No, I don't call her that myself. Where are they? I've been suite number seven, sir. Good. No, 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 sir. Wait, please. This hotel, it is wanted for Dietling. For Dietling? What's that? Pardon? Well, what exactly is it to Dittle? 
Oh, Deeping, he is the leader of the revolution. Oh, he's the bloke who started all this nonsense. Uh, yes, please. And last night he made what you call a coup de mer. He seized up the royal palace and all this part of the city, it fall for him. Oh, I don't care. Uh, Deeping, he stopped the frontier. He seized the railways, the roads, the telegraph, the telephone. Well, he can have them. I don't want to tell he him. Will, he will be dictator. The queen already, she has fallen for him last night. Oh, he didn't waste much time, did he? Uh, oh, you mean he's his prisoner? Uh, yes, please. The king, he is in Paris. The king, he is generally always in Paris. For the hunting, I suppose. But I can't waste time with all this court gossip. I must see this young man. Oh, very well, but do hurry, please. Deepling, he wants this room. The outlook is good. Good, good. Oh. You tell me this friend of yours will be here to handle the money. Today? How can anyone arrive here today? Well, I did. <laughs> How did you know I was here? Because you boasted to me of a lady friend you had over here, a countess. I suppose this is the countess. Who is this gentleman? Does one give names? Well, Jones will do. My name is Jones, Count Jones. Why did you lock that door? Oh, you can go any time you like, and anywhere you like. And so can you, you skunk when you handed me back that loot. I never took it. Then how'd you know what I was talking about? Oh, I smelled a rat, all right. It was the smell I'd got to know with you in the business. Well, you took me into the business? Yes, for your father's sake, you ungrateful young swine. Come on, hand it over. I admit I took it, but you're too late. I haven't got it now. Well, we'll see about that. What is it? Immediately open, please. Deakling, he is calm. And I tell you, Deakling, he is calm. And tell him to wait downstairs and then give him a beer. No, you don't. Hello. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait ici? Is this Titling? Uh, yes, indeed. Certainly, indeed, it is the great Titling himself. Oh. Well, then, tell him to diddle off. May I inquire the reason for this peculiar scene? Also, you speak English, do you? I have graduated at Oxford. Oxford? Oh, then you speak much nicer English than I do. Well, if you'll give me two minutes, you can have this room. The outlook is good. Kindly settle your affair outside. No, thank you. The lady is local. I don't want her. You can take her downstairs. Ellie. Well, goodbye, Countess. No hard feelings. I might pop over and see you sometime. You like my address? Yes. That's all right. I'll get it from the police station. Be careful she doesn't get among Mr. Dittling's staff. Well, I'll tell you. You've probably heard of Dexter Kite and Company. What? Yes. Yes. International Nitrates, the Middle and Small Arms, Greater London Chemicals, Dexter Morland. Of course. Well, I'm Richard Dexter. I don't carry cards, but this is my passport. This is a great pleasure, Mr. Dexter. I thought you'd know me. That's probably some of my stuff you're pooping off down the street. And what can I do for you, Mr. Dexter? Well, this young man has made off with a large quantity of bearer bonds, and I've called for him. And if you want this job done quickly, you'd better lend me your gun. By all means. And while you settle your affair, I have something else to do. Well, don't be long. I shan't. Now then. <laughs>
After seeing your lady friend, I think I'm very lucky to get them back. I don't know what I shall do. I haven't got a bob. No, I don't expect you have. Well, that'll get you somewhere. Now clear out. Mr. Ditling wants his outlook. I don't know where I shall go. I can tell you that. Well? You seem to have got what you wanted. I have, thanks. Here's your gun. But look here. I've got to get back to England. By all means. I'll escort you myself to the frontier. Thanks. For a man who's busy running a revolution, you're very attentive. With good reason. I want you in absolute secrecy to take somebody with you into safety. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting involved in anything. He can go on his own. It isn't a he. What? Well, of course, that might be different. Who is she? It's the Queen. The Queen? The Queen of Ardenburg. Oh, you're trying to save her, are you? Exactly. My aim is not to destroy the monarchy, but to restore it. Oh, I see. But do these noisy friends of yours know that? No. It's my secret. As much as my life is worth. If it were even breathed. Yes, all right, all right. I, I'm not breathing. I, I think I begin to understand. After all this nonsense is over, you are going to get the king and queen back. Exactly. Well, the king, he's all right. He is in Paris. <laughs> yes, the king, he is generally always in Paris. And you want to hand the queen over to me? That is absolutely my idea. I dare say. I wonder if it's mine. How old is she? You must do it. What have you done with her so far? Last night, for her safety, I sent her to a convent. But anywhere in this country. She's in deadly peril just now. Where is she at the moment? She's on her way here. To meet you. Very well, but if these pals of yours get to know that you plotted her escape, they'll take it out of you. On the contrary, they will put a large number of bullets into me. Well, she can't go to the king in Paris, they'd get to know. Of course, that's impossible. And I suppose that means I've got to take her to England and keep her a secret from everybody. Yes. Thank you very much. It's ridiculous. But it will not be for long. Hmm. I should hope not. You are a married man? No, but I'm going to be, and that's a nice little snag in itself. I tell you, I can't go around hushing up a queen. Saving a throne. You can. You must. Well, I might do it. And after all, the Queen is rather uncommon. But I think we'll wait and uh, look at her. <laughs> No, 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 you leave it to me. I'll tell her all about it. Good. I know I can rely upon your tact. Of course. I'll treat her in a nice, easy-going sort of way. What a bit of luck for her that I'm here. No doubt she will be duly gratified. Gratified? I should think she'll be tickled to death. I only hope she won't be too effusive. Entree? The Reine Drivé. She is here. Madame, j'espère, madame, que rien de désagréable vous est arrivé. Tout est désagréable. Madame. Madame, it is necessary that we speak English. You speak English, no doubt. Certainly. I speak as good English as what almost I do my own tongue. This is Mr. Dexter, of whom I told you in my note. I have your passport. I will attend to that. You inform Her Majesty of my plans and discuss your intentions. Majesty.
He has a masterful little way with him, hasn't he? He say we ought to be told something. Oh, uh, well, yes, ma'am. Um, well, uh, you have our permission. Speak us, speak us. Well, first of all, uh, wouldn't you like to take that thing off? Take off? My thing? Yeah, well, well, of course, only off your head. I say it must be very uncomfortable. Oh, so. Yes, my hood I will remove. I should like to see you without it, too. Allow me. That won't stand you. Oh, I am sorry. I, I, I was only trying to help. And, Mom, I think you would find things easier if we agreed to be a little more informal together. Informal? Together? Uh, well, uh, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, yes, ma'am. Speak us of what Dittling say. The idea is that I take you away from here. So, then you shall take us to Paris, to His Majesty. No, you won't allow that. We're going to England. You've got to stick to me. What is this? With you? To stick? Don't you see, ma'am? The whole point is, I've got to hush you up. To what me? No, no, don't misunderstand me, please. That's simply an idiom. It is worse than idiom. It is odium. We are most unpleased. Well, we're not very encouraged. What I mean is, you've got to be kept secret. No one must know who you are. And who you will say I am? I don't know. But we've got a fake a passport for you to travel as my wife. We? In a passport? As your... Wives, yes. Outrageable. And as if I shall not be known wherever I shall go. You won't be known in England. I don't mind telling you that I didn't know until today that there was a queen of Ardenburg. Oh, to live and to learn. And, ma'am, I have to tell you this, whether you're a queen or not, I'm willing to take a sporting chance to save you, but if you don't want to be saved, don't be. Silence from you. This doesn't sound a very good beginning. It isn't the beginning, it's the finish. What? You have turned against me? No, you stupid ass. I'm ready to take it on, but she won't. You will, madame. You are in safekeeping. You will obey my orders. Absolutely. That is final. Je crois que je peux avoir confiance en lui. Mais il est extrêmement familier. En tout cas, votre plan de campagne est fantastique. Et ne peut aboutir qu'à un résultat désastreux. Mais vous le voulez? Mon sort est entre ses mains. <laughs> the outlook is good. Is this the car I've got to drive? It is. It looks more like a hearse. And that's very likely what it will be. Silence, please. Why you stop? Lie down. I am leaving you now, so be careful. You'd better dim your lights. I'll put them out altogether, but if I wreck the car, it'll be up to you. Wreck the car? So, this is treason, yes. It is sabotage, yes. Why do you keep popping up? For myself, I am Eric already. Is it not enough to lie for miles, bumping in a motor's bottom? Very well, then, stay up. We are inflamed. Well, you should have sat on your bundle. I say, s'il vous plaît, I say. Mr. Dexter, a word to you. Well? I wish to thank you. That'll keep till we're through with the job. I know the risk I am running. I may not get the chance to thank you again. You're a good sport, Diddy, and if you don't get the chance, it won't be my fault. I promise you that. More share. Au revoir, madame.
Well, we're well over the frontier now. Yes, yes, a long way. This seems like a nice quiet spot. What about, uh, you know, fixing ourselves? Together? Well, simultaneously, but uh, I don't suggest any mixed fixing. Very well. I'll remain in the moto for my fixing. I suppose that takes me behind the bush. I think you can see me through the bush. No, of course I can't, ma'am. And as if I'd look anyway. Go on, take that thing off. Do I look better now? You look fine, ma'am. But you needn't think you look too bad as a nun. Well, that's the end of my nunnery. Throw it away. And your uniform, too. You'll throw them away here? Certainly. Well, whoever discovers these things lying together among the bushes is going to imagine something pretty lurid. We wish to say... Well? I have not been very nice. Too much of a queen. But I tell you why. I have been fighting not to show. I have been terrified. All right. But we've got to forget that queen stuff now. I know, I know. For instance, my job is going to be quite hard enough without your referring to yourself in the plural. I'm sorry. You needn't be. I'm not. Yes. And I, I, I don't think I'm going to be. You are very good, Mr... Mr. Nothing. Richard. Richard. I like that name. Good. Well, uh, will you sit beside me and show me the way? As you wish. But now I leave myself to your hands. So you show me the way. I meant, will you show me the way to Ostend? Oh. <laughs> That's a very nice laugh you got. Yes? Of late, late hasn't had much employment. Oh, we must find it some. If you can laugh like that, I think I can manage to pull you through. To what? Now, stop that. It's only another idiom. Those idioms I don't like. You hush me up, you pull me through. We are in... Ah, don't you begin that regal stuff. All right, all right. But I tell you, if you begin to idiom, I begin to regal. So to pull you through. Everybody knows what that means. It, it means to boast you up. Do you understand? No, but what can I do? I told you, I am to your hands to hush me, to pull me, to bolster me. Now listen, before we go any further, the one thing that you don't seem able to realize is that I can be a very nice man if I like. Yes? <laughs> well, please, please, be a very nice man to me, Richard. If you're not careful, I shall be such a nice man that you will finish up a very disappointed woman. Good afternoon, Nelson. Everything all right? Quite all right, sir. Thank you, sir. And you, sir? I've had a very nice time. This lady will be um, here for a little while. Uh, give us some tea, will you? Give me, please, also a bath. Yes, as I'll see to that. Well, soon, please. After my journey, I have some very dirty feelings. Shall we go in the library? Excuse me, sir. This telephone message has just come, sir. And your bag, sir? Is it downstairs, sir? What? Yes. No. I left it somewhere. To be forwarded, sir? What? Yes. Well, what the devil does it matter? I've two of everything, haven't I? Oh, yes, sir. And the ladies, sir? Well, you have only to look. Anyone who looks can see I have no bags. That'll do. And Nelson, 
Ring up Mr. Matterby and tell him I haven't come back yet. Very good, sir. I say, this isn't too good. I suppose you realize you can't go out. But I must go to buy my clothing. Not now, not with this face of yours in the paper. I'll have to go out and buy them for you. Impossible. You do not know everything I must wear above myself and below myself? Oh, yes, I do. How do you know? Oh, well, never mind about that. Ah, oh, so, a connoisseur, yes? A ladies gentleman, yes? Is that why you say you want to look after me? Well, you see what it says in the paper, a queen in danger. But don't you worry, she's not. How do you like that? It also says in the paper, it is feared she may fall into violent hands. Feared? Who by? Not by her. She may expect it, but I'll bet she doesn't fear it. Mr. Matterby has left the office, sir. They say you ought to be here by now. Mr. Piker is with him, sir. All right. Dash. Who are these? Some co-directors of mine. I must find some excuse to keep away from business. You can say that you are ill. Do I look ill? You can receive them in your bed, and I also can be there. What? Certainly. You can say I am your nurse. No, thanks. Although not a bad idea about my going to bed. But it would be more convincing if I were there alone. As you please. I only try to give you ideas. And a very good try, too. I think it's flu. I don't suppose I shall be at the office for days. Oh. I am very sorry. But thank heaven those bonds are safe. It gave us a shock. Yes, I think I was right to take charge of them. We began to suspect Jan Cleave. He didn't turn up at the office this morning. No, he won't. I've sacked him. Sacked young Cleave? What for? Yes. I discovered he was having an affair with one of the girls in the office. What, one of the typists? Yes. We can't have that sort of thing going on. No, I should think not indeed. No, no, of course not. Uh, which uh, typist was it? Hmm? Oh, I won't give her away. It wasn't her fault. Now, if you don't mind, I'm feeling very poorly. You know, you ought to go into a nursing home. No, I can't be moved. We'll send out for a nurse. Oh. I know of an excellent woman who might come in here for the night. Yes, that's all right. So do I. Mine's quite handy. Only just round the corner. That's all right. So is mine. Well, take every care. I shall have to. Good night. Thanks. I don't care for the look of him. No. One can't be too careful. Here, you. Who's in that other room? Uh, uh, um, uh, someone from the chemist, sir. But I thought it was another bedroom. Ye yes, it is, sir. Uh, he he's mixing a draught, sir. Mm. When did Mr. Dexter take to his bed? As soon as he returned from abroad, sir. Abroad? I didn't know he'd been abroad. Well, that was what I understood, sir. Hmm. Well, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. What's up? I don't believe he's ill at all. I believe there's a woman in this. Oh, he wouldn't stay away from the office for that. Very odd. By the way, who do you think the typist was? How should I know? Miss Fisher? Do you really think so? That's funny. I thought she was a bit, uh, like that. <laughs> I think I have brought down all the clothings I shall want. I think you've wrote down all the clothings they've got in the shop. I'd better go. They close at six. 
Be careful to get rightly for me my different sizes. Good Lord, you're always the same size, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be silly, Richard. In part, I'm so big, in part, I'm so big. Yes, I've noticed that. The sizes are written there. Great Scott. What? What's this? Bust 85? It can't be. 85? You'd never get that anywhere outside a circus. <laughs> They'd have to make it. So, my bust is gross, yes? Well, it looks it. I mean, it says it. 100 centimeters is not gross. Centimeters? Good Lord, we, we, we don't go in for Chinese measurements in England. Well, I'll, I'll chance it. 38. Uh, but I, I'll get it in strong material. Nelson? Sir? I suppose you realize this is rather an unusual case. Oh, yes, sir. For one thing, the lady has no clothes. No spares, I mean. I'm going out to get her some. Yes, sir. And if anyone should call or phone? I am ill. Still ill, sir? Yes, very ill. Unconscious. Valet, get ready. Pardon, madam? What for? Well, you have been told. We will have our bath. Will you send this bag with the stockings to Miss Fisher, 240A Fulham Road? Yes, sir. And uh, enclose this card. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I think that's all from here. Thank you, sir. No. Really? Good gracious. All right, goodbye. Mother, Richard's ill. Ill? Yes, he's in bed. What with? I don't know, I only spoke to Nelson. Oh, poor darling, I think I'll go around and see him. Well, if he's in bed, I'd better come too. Oh, darling, don't be ridiculous. What difference does it make we're engaged? Yes, that's a very risky sentiment. I'll come too. I say. My fiance rang up while I was out. I didn't know she was in town. I must go and see her. Why? Why? Because I'm very fond of her. She, she's the sweetest girl in the world. Of course. I'll, I'll go right away. You don't want me for anything, do you? <laughs> Not at this moment, thank you. Someone here, sir. Oh, all right. It's the things from the shop. Oh. Oh, Richard, darling. Ah, well, this is splendid. Oh. We heard you were ill. Uh, well, I was, but I'm better. I got up to come and see you. Well, here we are. Shall we go in here? Yes. I thought you were out of town. Oh, we got back today. Lydia. I, I think it must be Nelson gargling. He's afraid of catching my flu. It's a bath. It's a bath. It's a friend. Uh, I brought along with me. He's using the bath. Who is he? Who is he? Oh, no one you'd know, dear. Why, what's his name? Walker. Curiously high voice. Has he met with an accident? Richard, what's this mean? No need to worry, darling, I can tell you. 
Why did you say you were ill? Why is there a woman in the bathroom? And a French woman. I'll tell you that alone. Why alone? I understand. You thought we were away. Of course, a man must have girlfriends. I know that. It isn't that at all. Will you let me tell you? Yes, but not until you've sent her out of the flat. Now, be reasonable. Reasonable? Lydia. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you have good choice, Richard. This dress is most good, and also the other things. Yes, well, we'll have them all packed up. I'm getting out of this. What? You give me up? No, but I'm going to cart you off. To what me? Now, don't begin that again. I've got a cottage in the country. I'll drive you down there. But when? Now, before anything else happens. And your fiancée? Oh, she'll be all right. I've told you how sweet-natured she is, really. And at this cottage is who? Just a housekeeper and her husband. And you would tell them I am who? Oh, hell, I don't know. Don't ask too many questions. If they don't like it, they can do the other thing. What is that other thing they can do? <laughs> well, I couldn't tell you that, really. That's a very advanced idiom. I'll send word I'm coming with a friend. Nelson? Richard. Hmm? Richard, thank you very much. You're being so good for me. Good for you? Yes. You do everything that is good for me. What can I do that is good for you? Nelson. That's all right. He told us not to wake up. And a friend with him, a woman. It's no business of mine to interfere with his arrangements. Well, it is my business. If that's what he's going to arrange, I'm not going to be a party to anything loose. I'll give him time, and then I'll have a listen. Richard? Hello? safer way of putting it. Did you hear that? No. Well, I did. Well, hold on. I want some of my things out of that room. Richard, I have been such a trouble to you, and you are so good. <laughs> That's two lies in one sentence. Yes, yes. I have with your fiancé. No, that was just a slight mishap. I am this mishap. Perhaps it had been better for you. I never come to England. Do you think I was going to leave you out there to be... It had been better for you if I was... Ah, oh, no. Come, come. You mustn't talk like that. Don't take it to heart. My heart is very warm and full. What, for, for me? Yes, for you. For your goodness. Oh, don't spoil it. They're both in his bedroom. Go on. Yes. There, there, that's better. After all, people who never have any trouble never have any fun. How can a queen know what is fun, Richard? Well, I know women pretty well. You should it. And from what I've seen of you, it'd be a total upset of form if you couldn't appreciate fun. You think? I think. It isn't what a woman says or how she looks. It's just that little secret current. 
And uh, I have given currants to you. Yes, so don't you worry any more about my troubles. But here, it is no better. What can you say to your housekeeper about me? I shall tell her the truth. The truth? Yes. No, no, Richard, you must not do that. I shall. No, 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 Richard, you must not do that. Think of what might be the consequence. There won't be any consequence. I think it's the best thing to do. Yes, I shall tell her the truth. I'll tell her I've got a very sweet lady friend staying with me. Maybe, but she will think. What does it matter what she thinks? But my reputation. Don't you worry about that. You're not a queen here. Then, for what you let her think I stay with you? Now, don't shout at me. That's not the way to treat a man who saved your life. You say my reputation, I shall not worry it about. Stop that row. Oh, I shall give you currents. Stop throwing things about my room. You devil man! You betray me to your housekeep, yes? Yes? Then I'll make you stop. Believe me, you dare not. You know who I am, a queen. No, just a woman. Oh, you damn devil man. So, take this. You cat. yesterday and he didn't say anything about going away. When did he go? This morning? No, miss. Last night. To the country? I suppose he's gone down to his cottage at Dimmington. I really couldn't say, miss. All right, Nelson, you needn't. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Never mind. I heard all I wanted to know. Take me down to Dimmington. Very good, miss. That'll do, Mrs. Quill. I've told you all I'm going to. You mind your own business. Morality is everyone's business. Morality? How dare you? What are you accusing me of? Of what? Quite accidentally, I happen to overhear. Ridiculous. Can't I offer ordinary hospitality to a lady? Not to one of them French ones. Now, Mrs. Quill, if you want to keep your job... I want to keep my decency, and them that touches pitch is defiled. What is this she called me? Now, you keep out of this. What you say of me? Speak it! I wouldn't have the immodesty to utter my thoughts. You speak so to me, to me. What do you think I am? Oh, I certainly can't tell you that. So, then you can do the other thing. That'll do. Stop it now. I know your kind. You're scarlet. I am if what? Stop it, I say, and you get out of it. And gladly. Never of me shall it be said that I encouraged in continuity. Oh. Didn't I tell you not to interfere? Well, but I shall be so spoken of by a woman like this, a common peasant. A what? What? Put that down, you've left. Left? Oh, so he's gone out, has he? Yes, and so can you do it the same. Well, tell him he can send our money. I'm off. He don't contaminate me, not if I know it. I should like to say, I myself don't see any reason for leaving. Poor peasant. But after all, as I said to my wife, I says, there are lots of people in our society who like a little bit of fun now and again. Aye? Away. Away! Who opened the gate? Well, whose road is it? It ain't a road, it's a drive. And when we've gone through, you can have it. When you finish the argument, Brown, bring the car up to the house. Very good, miss. Go on. Jerk out of it. Jamais je n'aurais cru qu'un lit était aussi difficile à faire que ça. Vraiment alors, par où commence-t-on Où est-ce qu'on met ça Ça m'apprendra à avoir de la patience. C'est tout ce que je peux dire. Oh tiens, c'est joli ce bleu là. Richard? Oh, I see. Oh, 
Oh, you are. What is he? Who wants you? You're the woman who was in his set. Who you are? Well, I'm pretty broad-minded, but this is the limit. No wonder the servants left. Wait! Wait! I guess you... you are the fiancé, yes? I was. Wait! Wait, my dear! Wait, my dear! Don't you, my dear me. You, you, you common little... Richard wants to tell you of me. Indeed. I suppose he brought you down here to keep you dark. That is right. He keep me dark, he hush me up, and why? You don't need to tell me. All right, I will tell you. I am... Dexter here? No, away you. What? So you come down here too? Yes, I'll bring him to his senses. Don't be put out. I don't need to be put out of this case. No, 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 no. Yeah, hold on, young woman. I've got to see him. Leave me. You dare how this... Where is he? I have to speak her. You've got to speak to me first. I've come all this way and I won't be put off. Leave me, fool men. Stop. Stop, you motto. You fool men. I'll wait for him. Fool men. Big ghost damn idiot. Fool men. C'est dégoûtant. De penser que ces gens-là ne sauront jamais qui je suis. Ils jamais comprendront. Là, ils ne comprendront jamais qui je suis. Je ne pourrai jamais leur expliquer. C'est impossible. Ça m'enrage, ça m'enrage. Mais que faire, que dire Je voudrais vraiment leur casser la tête mille fois. French, eh fois. Even worse than I thought. Oh, so Mr. Matterby is here, is he? Yes, sir. Oh, splendid. What have you come meddling here for? It won't do, Dexter. What won't do? You deceive your partners, you neglect your business, and all for a sordid intrigue. Now, look here. If you weren't such a pompous, talkative ass, I might tell you something. I know everything. You picked her up on the continent. A common French jade. So that's what you think of her, is it? I've seen her. Oh, a fascinating little piece of stuff, no doubt, but... Get out. But confound it, man. Get out, or I'll give you a sock over the head with a ham. I warn you, Dexter. I shall call a board meeting. Well, you call one. I could sack the lot of you, and I will. I'll give you one more chance. Get out. Very well. We shall see. A moment. A moment. A souvenir from a fascinating piece of stuff. <laughs> no, no, Richard, I make more trouble. I don't care. You will care when I tell you. Your fiancé, she come here and see me and go. Here? Yes. She's been here? Yes. And I wanted to see her. Oh, but it doesn't matter. You see, she sees the sort of person I am. Yeah, that's just the trouble. Well, but uh, you said she's sweet of nature. So she is, very sweet. But she's very likely to make mischief now. <laughs> then she's wasting her time like a fool. <laughs> I bet she doesn't think I am. <laughs> it is reported from Ardenburg where civil war is raging, that Count Dittling has connived at the Queen's escape to this country with the help of an Englishman who was on a visit to Ardenburg. As a result of this extravagant story, fierce fighting has broken out. The Royalist army has reverted to Dittling, but the issue is still in the balance. I felt impelled to call upon you, Miss Brockley. Why? Well, uh, you're Richard Dexter's partner, and I'm his fiancé. Oh, naturally, of course, I, I mean the other way round. Why? What do you know? I don't actually know anything, but I have a startling theory. Have you? So have I. Do you think this evening in the newspaper there may be news? You can't get an evening paper here. It's only a good job, too. Who wants news? Well, <laughs> I'm contented. <laughs> so am I. You have been wonderful. Only two days away, I was so terrified. And now, I am easy. At ease is the right expression. Well, easy, at ease, at ease, easy. Who cares? All I mean to say is, you have made me forget myself. Oh, no, I haven't. You don't put things very happily, do you? Have I said wrong? Not intentionally. But if you're going to keep a diary of this, you better write it in French. 
If she really is the queen, why didn't he tell me? And me. And me. Why didn't he take her to the king in Paris? He's got himself tied up. I expect he wants help, poor dear. Daren't ask for it. You leave it to me. I'll get him out of it. How? You'll see. Not a word about this. Of course not. Good gracious, no. So I feel I must stay and keep an eye on things. Of course, I don't mind your knowing. But you won't say a word about it to anyone, will you, my dear? I've just been talking to Barbara Broccoli. And what do you think? Good Lord, haven't you heard? Dexter's got her down at his place. The Queen of Ardenburg is at Richard Dexter's cottage at Dimmington. Yes, I know Mr. Dexter. Just the kind of gentleman who would secure a queen. Queen and all, you know. Things they get up to. They found her down at this bloke's cottage. No. Yes. But are you certain it is the Queen who is there? Your Majesty, if I had not felt certain, I should not have flown over here to inform Your Majesty. Dear, dear, what a nuisance. I suppose I must go to England tomorrow. Incognito, you understand? Certainly, Your Majesty. You had better come with me in my private aeroplane. Uh, then you can motor me down to this uh, cottage. All right, Your Majesty. Please attend me here tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. I hope you are not taking me on a wild duck chase. Your Majesty will be able to see for Your Majesty's self. Mm, I suppose I must. But it is very inconvenient. I thank you and I bid you good night. Well, what do you want? Mr. Dexter? Yes? I represent the Mammoth News Agency. Oh, do you? Well, you'll get some very bad news from me in a minute. Is there any truth in this story about the Queen of Ardenburg? The Queen of... What the devil are you talking about? Go on, get out of it. And that goes for the lot of you. There's some very queer rumors going around. If you don't hop it, there'll be something else looking queer going around. Go on, get out of it. Go on. Go on. Only you, you can tell your pals on the press that if I catch one of them snooping around here, you'll get a good kick on the pants. So, they have found us out. Well, it looks like it, but I can't think how. It is Dietling's enemies. They suspect I am in England. It says so in the newspaper. Well, don't you worry. I'll keep them away. And after all, you've been under my protection. There's been nothing else. Nothing? Well, of course not. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Listen, someone again outside. Yes, it's a woman this time. You go in your room. I'll get her. Countess. So they sent you over here, have they? Yes, I come from Dickie. No, you don't, you little liar. You come from the other party as a spy. Oh, no, no. Then why do I find you snooping around the place like this? Come on, I'll deal oh, with you inside. No. Come on. Very well. If you won't tell me, I'll tell you. You were in that Ardenburg Hotel. You saw the Queen come in and informed against her. I saw only a nun. I did not know it was the Queen. Anyhow, you informed the Queen's enemies and they've sent you over to England to spy on her. Well, I'll take good care that you don't get the chance. You cannot stop me. Can't I? I'll jolly well see that you don't leave this cottage. Oh, you think to keep me a prisoner here? Oh, you try. You will not succeed. I'm quite equal to that. Come on. You remember that I threatened you with something at our former meeting. Just step in here, will you? This is my bathroom. Oh, what you try to do ah, to me! Ah, ah, now. Come quietly, please. No. I should hate to have to use force. Oh, dear.
fun. You better take charge of these. Please, your majesty. Shh, not in front of your chauffeur, please. This is a very delicate matter. It's all right, your majesty. He didn't hear me call your majesty, your majesty. Uh, please, I will tell you what I am going to do. Here you are. Ah, now then, come, come, manners. You needn't snatch it like that. It was very kindly meant. And she drink it all the same, I do not mind to bet. So you understand? You keep the car here. I will investigate. Shall I come with your majesty? No, do as I bid you. Your majesty will be more grateful to me very shortly. Now we'll have one ourselves. Yes. Richard, I think again I hear someone out there. Quite right. It's a snooper. Don't you be seen. I told you I would. Go on, get out, and keep out. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Get in. Oh, you've made some nice trouble for yourself. They want the king. The king? <laughs> the king of Ardenberg. You little liar. All right, you will see. <laughs> Hell's bells. Back to Croydon Airport. What has happened? Go and get in. Blunderer, meddler, idiot. It is not her. Not her? Not at all. But did your majesty actually see anything of the... Lady? Huh? Did I not? Yes, it is my husband. I see him in the motto. How did he know I'm here? Well, he can't have known. We must go after him. Do you want to go? No. But now that he knows I'm here, it is my duty. I mustn't hurt his royal dignity. Oh, that's nothing. I've just kicked his royal pants. All right, come on. But Richard, what about my baggage? Leave it. With luck, we'll be coming back. You go and get in the car. I'll come along. Well, hurry, hurry. Here, dress quickly. I've got to let you go. Ah, you wish me to go? Then I will not. I will stay here like this. Now what you do? Too late. I shan't be here. C'est bien. Dans une minute. No, no, that is all right. Come in too. Enfin, mon cher, je vous retrouve. Enchanté. Come in, come in. My protector. But you've met him before, I think. Uh, so you did protect Her Majesty at your cottage. <laughs> well, you know that, sir, don't you? You even appointed a chaperon for her. A what? Yes, yes, uh, that is right. <laughs> My chaperon, the other lady. But she was in bathroom most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you observed her yourself, sir, I think. A most appropriate chaperon. A notorious lady from our own city. Oh, you know her too, sir, do you? I was informed by Ditling that Her Majesty was in safekeeping. Well, wasn't she? What? What is this? You think I cannot stay alone with him without there shall come some very nasty thoughts in your fat head? Oh, and les choses que je pourrais dire à propos de votre conduite, qu'avez-vous fait tout ce temps-ci? Quand on a besoin de vous, vous n'êtes jamais là. 
Ah. Mais, 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 ma chère. Euh, non, 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 je vous en prie. Les affaires, je vous en prie. Oui, je connais toujours toutes vos excuses, les okay. affaires, les affaires. Oui, je vous en prie, ne me parlez pas d'affaires, n'est-ce pas Je connais ces excuses depuis bien longtemps. Attendez, Quand je t'en prie. Je n'attendrai rien du tout. Quand on a besoin de vous, non, non. vous n'êtes jamais là. Votre vie, je n'ose pas dire ce que j'en pense. Il n'y a rien à faire. Non, je crois bien qu'il n'y a rien à faire. Vos excuses ne valent rien du tout. Je vous connais. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est que ce piano Que c'est une horreur. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Une paire de souliers et qui ne sont pas à moi, n'est-ce pas mm. Ah, je devine tout à présent. Ce n'est pas moi qui porte des pieds de cette longueur-là. Non, non, non. Votre conduite est déplorable. Victoire Victoire Absolument déplorable. Victoire 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 Où oh, si. Ma profonde gratitude. Mr. Dexter. Sir, I am now able to comprehend more fully what you have done. I thank you. Not at all, sir. Perhaps the boot should have been on the other leg. And now, sir, with your permission, I'll bid you farewell. Your Majesty. My protector. Thank you. 